Now let us look at another category of relations which are called as irreflexive relation. So this is the definition of irreflexive relation. A relation R on a set A is called irreflexive if X is not related to X. And that is you can say X is not related to X for all X belong to the set A. For example, assume we have a set A which is having 1, 2, 3, 4 and you know what is A cross A? So A cross A is going to give us 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3 and 3, 4. 4 comma 1, 4 comma 2, 4 comma 3 and 4 comma 4. Okay, this is A cross A. Now, I can define the relation over A cross A. For example, I can define the relation R1 such that we are going to contain the pair X comma Y for all X comma Y belonging to the set A, belonging to the set A and you can say X is less than Y and x is less than y right so in this case in this case uh, what, what are the elements which are uh, which will be there in the relation r1 the elements will be 1 comma 2 because 1 is less than 2 it will be 1 comma 3 because 1 is less than 3 it will be 1 comma 4 because 1 is less than 4 it will be uh, 2 comma 3 because 2 is less than 3 2 comma 4 will be there again 3 comma 4 will be there so these are the element which will be in this relation now this relation is irreflexive. This relation is irreflexive. Irreflexive. Why this is irreflexive? Because it is not going, it is not containing the pairs which is 4 comma 4, 3 comma 3, 2 comma 2, or 1 comma 1. So it does not necessarily mean that you have to have all these four pairs. You may be having one or two pairs that makes that uh, that will make the relation not reflexive, right? So what I mean to say is assume we have a relation R2 which is having 1 comma 2. And 2 comma 2. Now this relation is not irreflexive. This relation is not irreflexive as well as it is not reflexive. As well as it is not reflexive. Why it is not reflexive? Because it is not containing the pair which is 1 comma 1, 3 comma 3 and 4 comma 4. Why it is not irreflexive? Because it is containing the pair which is 2 comma 2. If I am saying a relation R3 which is having 1 comma 2 2 comma 3 and 1 comma 3. Now this relation is irreflexive. This relation is irreflexive. This relation is not reflexive. This relation is not reflexive. Right. So here you can clearly see why it is not why it is irreflexive because it is not containing any pair of this kind. Any pair of this kind. We can have a relation R5 which is equal to 1 comma 1, 1 comma 2, 1 comma 3. 2 comma 2, 2 comma 3, 3 comma 3 and 4 comma 4. Assume this is a relation. Now in this relation, this relation is not irreflexive. This relation is not irreflexive. Why it is not irreflexive? Because it is containing the pair 1 comma 1 or 2 comma 2 or 3 comma 3 or 4 comma 4. And this relation is reflexive. This relation is Reflexive. Why it is reflexive? Because it is containing all these ordered pairs, which is 1 comma 1, 2 comma 2, 3 comma 3, and 4 comma 4. Now let me take a few more examples. Assume we have a relation R6, which is defined A cross A, so which is having the pairs 1 comma 1, 1 comma 2, 1 comma 3, 1 comma 4, 2 comma 3. Now this relation is not reflexive. This relation is not reflexive as well as this is not irreflexive. It is not irreflexive why it is not irreflexive because of this particular pair this is not irreflexive because of this particular pair okay in the same way we can have a relation r7 which is an empty set now this empty set this relation is irreflexive but this relation is not reflexive this is irreflexive but this relation is not reflexive you can clearly see because it is not containing any of the pairs which is 1 comma 1 or 2 comma 2 so that is why this relation is irreflexive okay so you can clearly see we have some some relations can be reflexive some relation can be irreflexive and if you look at the set of reflexive and irreflexive relations assume this is a universal set this is a universal set 
then this is a set of relations which are reflexive the set of relations which are reflexive and this is a set of relations which are irreflexive this is a set of relations which are irreflexive we don't have anything in common between reflexive and reflexive and irreflexive relations because for a relation to be reflexive for a relation to be reflexive it is necessary that we have to have the pair which is x comma x for all x for all x belonging to the set a but for a relation to be irreflexive we should not have x comma f x this should not be there for all x belonging to the set a or for any x belonging to the set a right so you can clearly see because these two sets are uh, not having anything in common so uh, now let us look at what are the number of relations which are reflexive we already checked this what are the number of relations which are irreflexive at what are the number of relations uh, which are not irreflexive as well as not reflexive okay so let us look at this 